Hello guys, and welcome back to another cold episode. On today's episode, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we are talking about Shadal. Wait, Shadal? For the event? For the anti-spell event? Yeah, that's right. We're using no spells in order to play Shadal. Why? Because some psychopath came up with this and I copied it. Um, I'll try and put the name of the player in the description, um, as well as a uh, their deck list. Um, a link to it. Uh, so, really cool. Um, it uses my boy, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Gale Dogra. You love to see it. Clapping. Uh, also, we're mo mainly focused on utilizing Shadal Schism by sending cards to the graveyard off of the Gale Dogra in order to lock our opponent out of the game. And with such a slow format, it actually does seem to work pretty well. Uh, also, utilizing, you know, big blowout cards like Evenly Matched is... Uh, pretty nice. Um, Trump Witch is also in here in order to allow us to fusion summon because it's a pseudo spell card. In all reality, you could probably just cut this for like another hand trap, but you could also play it if you want to really get your fusions online. So let's do the quick card by card. We are playing a few hand traps, notably Cypher and Gear Gamma, as well as the Veiler. Realistically, this should just be three Veiler, um, but the Gamma did come up once where it was really helpful. Uh, so there's that. Uh, Gamma, my boy Gamma, he really do be putting in the work. Um, so there's that. We also have obviously the driver. We have the triple ash blossom and joy the spring. And then that's it for the hand traps. As for the rest of the cards, we are playing triple dogra in order to send either app cologne, um, titanic clad, or if you already have a, uh, a spell trap in grave, like a reach all incarnation or a schism and you need to get it back, you can send something like construct as well. I'm playing the three construct instead of the three app cologne. Realistically, you should be playing triple app cologne. It's just better to have three of this card because it searches instead of just, um, instead of just adding back from grave. So there's that. Next up, we have the Shadals. We have Triple Shadal Hedgehog, Double Wendy, Triple Squamata, Double Dragon, because everyone is playing back row, and this seems to be the go-to card in order to deal with that. We have the one Aerial to potentially banish things like Eldritch or what have you, um, as well as Paleo Frog, which seems to be very popular, and then the one Beast. Next up, we have Dogmaticas. We have the Dogmatica Ecclesia, Triple of that. One Flordily and Triple Max Maximus. I'm not sure about these ratios. I think having a second Flordily would be very nice, and just having the two Maximus is nice as well, I found oftentimes that I would draw this and then just not really have a target for it, so it would just kind of be a dead card in hand. Um, it's really good if you get to pair it with Gale Dogra, and then you get to see what your opponent's on, um, as well as potentially dealing with other such problematic cards from their extra deck, but honestly, so few people are actually utilizing the extra deck, I feel like just having another big beater is better, um, but it's also cheaper to go for the Maximus, so there's that. Um, we have the Triple Trump Witch, we have the Triple Torrential Tribute, we have the Triple Evenly Matched, this card should be banned, I don't know why it isn't. We have the one Reshadal Incarnation and a Triple Schism. Realistically, I'd probably include another Reshadal Incarnation, as well as potentially more hand traps, um, more back row removal, stuff like that, like a, um, <clears throat> not Duster, um, Heavy Storm Duster, I think is what it's called. Uh, like playing that instead of the Trump Witch probably more worth it but all in all i think the deck still is decent um anyway moving on to the extra deck we have one elder entity entis we have a two window we have two app cologne we have triple construct because again i have the triple construct i don't have the triple app cologne we have the one titanic lad we have the one sheki naga originally the other player was not playing the sheki naga they were also playing triple availer instead of the gamma and i threw in the sheki naga because guess what gale dogger is an earth so that means you could fuse it off in order to go into the Sheki Naga, which is just a nice big body, as well as potentially negating something if you need to. Um, like, for example, if your hand is heavy with uh, Shadals, being able to get them out of your hand and potentially get their effects rolling is pretty nice. Plus, having a big body is nice. Then we have a weird set of Link monsters. We have one Al Mirage, which does come up because you can link it off in order to go for the Gale Dogra, and then you can utilize the effect of the Al Mirage in order to protect one of your monsters. Then we have one Gravity controller to link off one of your um, fusion monsters that you put in the X or monster zone to again potentially cycle something like a schism or what have you we have the one or we have the one cross sheep the one nightmare unicorn and the one access code these are basically just a way to climb to access code uh, and then access code your opponent um, yeah that's it for the deck let's hop into the replays and show you how this deck performs all right so here we are going second and look at that lovely card evenly matched you love to see it. Now, granted, um, well, well, I'll just show you. So my opponent sets five and passes because 
this is a degenerate game that we are playing. Um, so I'm just going to go and try and activate my even the match, and they are going to activate their Red Reboot. Red Reboot is a card that exists for some reason in this event. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sure. Um, I'll set a card. That's fine. Granted, I'm not too worried because I'm pretty sure that they don't really have much in terms of their plays, and I get to set a Schism, so I'm not too upset, but it's not the greatest. Uh, we're going to set the Squamata here. The reason that I do this is because I'm almost certain that my opponent is going to deal with this in some sort of card effect way, um, like, for example, sending it to the graveyard uh, through, like, popping it or what have you. So, because of that, I decided to set this one, hoping that it will allow me to send something like a Wendy to the graveyard, which will then get my Schism online. That's ultimately the plan. I see the Morella come out and I go, oh, okay, well, this is fun. Uh, I am going to Ash Blossom the Morella just because we do have the extra Ash Blossom and there's not really a better target to Ash Blossom. Just keeping them off of Paleo names is pretty nice as well. Uh, however, they reveal that they are going to banish the Olanoids, which allows them to pop a card, and they are going to activate the Olanoids in order to pop the evenly matched? Huh. I would have expected them to pop Schism, but they didn't. They popped the evenly matched, and I don't know why. I'm guessing it's because they were trying to ultimately wipe the field and then go to battle, um, but they don't end up doing that, so I'm very confused as to why this has happened. Anyway, out comes the Swap Frog, which they drew for turn. They just... Drew just top deck it. Just top deck the swap. Just draw the swap frog. Anyway, it doesn't matter because now they are going to go into the toad. Love it. Totally awesome comes out. And Ojamatria. Oh, wow, they really are just making this a pain, aren't they? So out comes the Ojamatria. Oh, Not really a whole lot that I can do about that, but Nope, that's it. That's that that's that's all I have to say. They do have the negate, which means that this Squamata isn't going to do a whole lot. But I am still going to activate it to force out the Toad Negate, meaning that our Schism is guaranteed to go off if... <clears throat> sorry. Oh, gosh. If they don't recycle the Toad, which they don't. For some reason, they instead decide to recycle the Swap Frog. Because reasons. So now they don't have a Toad, and they have no access to it. But they do have follow-up. We draw the Ecclesia for turn, which is pretty nice. So I'm going to go for the Ecclesia here, and that will meet the Imperm. Of course, of course they had it, which also allows them to go for the Morella here, which gets to be special summoned back, but that's okay, because I have a very interesting line. I actually thought about this for a while, because I was like, oh, I could go Wendy here, and then that way I could have a monster on my side of the field, and I could go and attack into this guy, which would allow me to go and activate my Schism, which could, you know, potentially do something. However, I thought of an even better line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the Nightmare Unicorn here, and then I'm going to activate the effect of the Nightmare Unicorn in order to shuffle away my own monster, sending the Wendy. Now I'm going to go for the Schism here in order to fusion summon. We're going to fusion into our construct. Construct will then allow me to send that Sheki or er, um, Squamata. I always forget the names. Squamata to the graveyard, which will then also allow me to send the Wendy, which will allow me to special summon out the beast. At this point, we are well in control of the game, thanks to a singular card, that being Schism. Thank you, Schism, for existing. Also, my opponent decided to give me three monsters for some unknown reason. Thank you. Anyway, we now clear the field, and my opponent is stuck on swap frog that's it that that's all they have now granted as soon as the swap frog comes down you know i'm firing off that schism and we are going to go for our own window meaning they can have one other special summon which entirely shuts them down <laughs> they're going to send the duke frog and then scoop it up good game all right and in true shadal fashion somehow we do better going second so once again we are going second here and we drew ash blossom which is fantastic because guess what no called by! Yay! Oh, you love to see it. My opponent is going to slap down their performable pal Skullcrabat Joker, which we are going to negate with our Ash Blossom, and then they are going to pen scale a 1 and an 8, because of course they have it. So they are going to summon out their Harmonizing Magician. Harmonizing Magician will get them a 6, which will allow them to go into... Baron. Now they have a Baron, they have a set card, which is almost assuredly Time Pendulum Graph, or, um, yeah, I think it's Time Pendulum Graph. Um, so we do have to worry about that. And we draw Gamma for turn. Interesting. So I'm actually going to go with, for the Florida League here, baiting out the Baron, because I'm like, okay, there is a chance that they negate this with the Baron, which means we can Gamma them, getting massive advantage. That's ultimately the goal here. And it works. They take the bait, and I get a Gamma them. Gamma, I love you so much. When I don't draw Driver. When I don't draw Driver, Gamma is fantastic. <laughs> anyway, Baron goes down, out comes the Florida League. <clears throat> 
All right. Uh, I'm going to then link away my two monsters to go into Cross Sheep, because Cross Sheep just requires two monsters with different names, and out comes the Time Pendulum Grab. I was right about what it was, but that's fine, because now we get to go for the normal summon of the Squamata, and with both the Reincarnation as well as the... Uh, or, sorry, Incarnation, as well as the Schism, we should be fine. So my opponent is going to draw for turn and realize that the game is over. All right, good game. All right, and somehow, once again, it's it's going second. But we draw Gale! Gale Dogger! Woo! you love to see it. So, <clears throat> out comes the Gale Dogger. We are going to send to the graveyard an App Cologne. We are going to search out our Schism and send to the graveyard a Squamata. Squamata will send a Wendy. Wendy will then special summon out a Beast. We will then activate the effect again in order to send a Titanoclad to the graveyard. We are then going to link off into an Almirage and special summon our Ecclesia from hand. Ecclesia will add the Maximus. Maximus will then banish our App Cologne in order to special summon itself. Out comes... What? Uh, Nibiru? Okay. I get a massive token here, so I am totally okay with this, because honestly, I still have Schism, so it's fine. Um, and then out comes the Kawaki Mairu Supplier, which is a little bit more worrying, because now they have Mairu Guardian, which is... Again, a little bit problematic. I go for the Trump Witch here, which for some reason I can't utilize its effect. If anyone wants to tell me why I can't do this, please inform me. I would love to know. Um, I should be able to go into Construct here. I don't know if it's because like control means that it has to be face up um, or like it doesn't know that this is should all beast. So I can't go into should all or something's locking me. I don't know. Wish I could tell you. Anyway, I think I'm locked from the extra deck by using Maximus or something like that. I think that's what it is. Um, but I could could be wrong. Oh, no, 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 it's Ecclesia. Never mind. I know what it is. It's Ecclesia. Ecclesia is locking me. That's what it was, because I special summoned in search. Yes, I forgot. That's my bad. That's my bad. I'm just stupid. Anyway, forgot that I used that. Anyway, we're going to go for the Titanoclad here, and I'm just going to get another big body on our side of the field with the Maximus, because... Honestly, I just need to not die. Uh, we have 2,000 life points. Out comes the Kawaki Myra Guardian. As soon as that happens, I'm going to go for the Schism here, and we're going to go for... That's right. Winda. This forces out their battle phase, and because we have the Incarnation set, we can just bring him back. So they are going to go, and they get priority first, which means they are going to immediately go into the Gallant Granite, and I'm going to immediately, as soon as that comes out, bring back our Winda in the face-up defense position, turning off their game plan entirely. And at that point, they scoop it up. Nibiru, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here we are once again going second. I swear I won games going first. I promise I did. <laughs> anyway, my opponent proceeds to uh, set to and normal summon amazement to ambassador. They're playing amazement. Anyway, we're going to go for the evenly matched here. They are going to flip up the amazement attraction wonder wheel and then proceed to banish the monster that they had just equipped it to, as well as the other card. Now, this does get it into the graveyard, which is probably what they were wanting, seeing as how the effect of that monster equips a face-up card. Anyway, who cares? We're going to go and do the same play that we did previously, except instead, I accidentally add Squamata to my hand instead of Schism, because I'm dumb. Anyway, that's fine. We are then going to send the Schism off of a Squamata in order to then utilize the Gale effect to go again and grab the Schism off of a construct. It's fine. We got schism. That's all we needed. We're fine. We're gonna set we're gonna go into Almirage, set the schism, and pass. <sighs> it's fine. <clears throat> My opponent's turn proceeds. They are going to go for Ambassador here, and they are going to equip to our monster the wonder, and then they are going to re-equip it to themselves, and then they are going to place a card on the bottom of the deck and then draw one. We are then going to go and banish two for a construct once again. This allows us, uh, they are going to go, they were trying to go to battle, so we're doing this now, and then we get to send a Squamata. Squamata will then send Wendy, Wendy will then special summon Beast, and you know the drill. Um, my opponent goes to battle, they're going to attack into the Almirage, I'm going to just protect my Beast, that's fine, they're going to pass the turn. And cool, great, fantastic. This other Gale Dogra in my hand is literally doing nothing, and of course I draw the second dragon because reasons. Anyway, that's fine because now we can pitch this dragon in order to pop one of their cards. They're gonna go and target my Shadal Construct with one of their amazement cards. I'm not going to let that happen, so I'm gonna go for Schism here, and then they're going to activate their Wonder Wheel in order to cycle a card. 
So they're gonna cycle one of their cards. We're gonna go for the Schism. We're gonna banish our own um, Construct and the Squamata in order to go for Apcolone. The reason that I go for Apcolone here is because it allows me to negate one of their monsters and it just kind of puts a little bit more pressure on them. We're gonna go for the Beast. We're gonna draw two dead cards basically. And then we are going to send the Dragon to the graveyard and Dragon is going to pop their back row and the um, App Cologne is going to negate their uh, their monster. And, of course, they drew into Arlecchino. Now, granted, they cycled a couple of cards, but still, they drew it, and it, hey, look, now they get a special summon this guy. Uh, this guy is actually incredible as well. Um, also, ignore the fact that this guy activated his effect. His effect doesn't do anything. Anyway, we're going to pop a monster, or their back row, and then we are going to negate, and we're just going to set the Squamata, proceed to battle, attack in for 900 damage, and then pass the turn. The thing is, if we were to have a special summoned or normal summon something, they would have been able to grab one of their attraction traps, which I didn't want to give them. So I'm just going to pass there. They're going to draw for turn and then go and activate the effect of their Arlecchino in order to banish two in order to pop two. They pop the Schism as well as the set card. I don't know why they decided to set or pop the set card. Probably because they haven't read Apcolone and the fact that it cannot be destroyed by battle, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> it's, it's fine. They just won't know. Uh, also, it doesn't really matter because we're going to banish two and go into window, which means that we can just send this guy to the graveyard. Just goodbye. Just out of there. Just gone. Then we're going to activate our Squamata to send a Wendy. Wendy effect will then special summon out another monster. Now, notably, we can't actually kill them here because Apcolone and Winda can't attack directly. And I guess technically we could go into, like, access code. But it's not really looking good for me in terms of OTKing them. However, they decide that the game is now over and scoop it up. So we're back with the deck, and I'm not going to lie to you, just play this deck going second. Take out the Trump Witch, it doesn't matter. Just play the deck going second. Play it as a way to just, like break through trap cards you don't really need to play like outs to monsters nearly as much just because you have inherent outs due to schism and construct and app cologne and winda and entis with dagra uh so yeah just take out the trump witch play some more hand traps play some more like board breakers and stuff like that you could even take out the torrential tribute if you want to um and, and yeah just play go play it going second honestly this deck on performed pretty well considering the event that we are currently in which is like super hateful to but i mean you literally can't play spells and the fact that shadal a fusion deck can play this without spells is quite interesting um schism is a crazy card if you didn't know uh, but yeah that's going to be it for this episode i hope that you guys did indeed enjoy if you did a like is very much so appreciated and if you want to check out more content like this as well as more Yu Gi Oh, then just be sure to subscribe anyway thank you guys so much for watching and remember to always stay frosty bye bye Shout out to the Frost Guard, my members. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I hope you enjoy the content.